So next generation is right around the corner, and there's plenty of discussion surrounding how cross-generation games should be handled. On one hand, we've got consumer-friendly companies like CD Projekt Red, who've said that gamers should never be forced to purchase the same game twice or pay for upgrades. This is a sentiment that is pretty much universally agreed upon. While other companies like Take Two and 2K are charging premium for a next-gen upgrade, even though it's the same game. You know, for example, for NBA 2K21, you basically have to buy the $100 edition if you want a free upgrade from current gen to next gen, or、uh, you'll have to just purchase the PS5 or Series X version for $70. Dollars and now let's talk about Activision and how they're handling Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which is going to be a cross-generation title. So this information was relayed on the official Activision support website, where there's this、uh, FAQ for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War editions, and right down here. You'll find a number of categories, each with their own caveats. There are four categories you need to keep in mind: the digital and physical edition for current gen, and the digital and physical edition for next gen. And depending on which console you buy it for, and for you know which medium, physical or digital, there's like different caveats. And this right here is easily the most confusing model. When it comes to how cross-gen is being handled, so、uh, here's what digital standard edition is like for current gen. So if you buy the digital edition of the game on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, the current gen consoles, there is an option to upgrade to PlayStation 5 or Series X. Now. It's safe to say that the upgrade will cost money. It might be like a ten dollars fee, so you go from sixty dollars to seventy dollars. And it doesn't say right here that the upgrade will be free. It is an upgrade you'll probably have to shell out money for. Now, if you have the digital PlayStation 4 version, you can play it on PlayStation 5 via backwards compatibility. Same with Xbox One. You can play it on Xbox Series X with backwards compatibility with the $60 version. But if you don't upgrade, then、uh, the game will not include any of the next-gen features such as higher frame rate, hardware-based ray tracing, faster load times, and more. So they're essentially charging ten dollars more for what should be a free upgrade.、Uh, it's just a patch, and they're charging premium for that. So that's the digital edition for current gen. Then we have physical edition for current gen. Things do work differently here. For the PlayStation 4 physical version, there will be an option to upgrade to PlayStation 5 through the PlayStation Store. You do need to have the PS4 disc inserted into PlayStation 5 to access the digitally upgraded PS5 version of the game. The Xbox One version, however, for some reason, the physical edition. For、uh, Cold War on Xbox One, cannot be upgraded to Series X. Both physical PS4 and Xbox One versions can, however, take advantage of backwards compatibility. You can insert the disc on the next-gen console and play the game in backwards compatibility mode, but without the next-gen upgrades. So very similar to the digital edition, except for some reason in physical. Xbox One cannot be upgraded in any way to Series X, whereas with PS4 you can pay that additional fee to upgrade to PS5. On top of all that, it is highlighted right here that if you get a physical disc version of current gen Call of Duty、uh, Cold War. You will not be able to operate that on a discless console. So、uh, PS5 has already announced a digital-only version of the console without the disc drive. Xbox Series X will also do that via what is being rumored to be called Series S. And so keep that in mind if you purchase the current-gen version of the game. Physically, it will not be compatible with the digital-only versions of next-gen consoles. Now that brings us to the next-gen physical standard edition for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. So, according to this、uh, FAQ, the PS5 standard edition will include the PlayStation 5 version of the game on disc, but the Xbox Series X standard edition includes both. The Xbox Series X and Xbox One version of the game on disc. So next-gen physical with PS5, you only get the PS5 version. With Series X, you get both. 
Series X and Xbox One version. You get both current gen and next gen version. Do you see what I mean? It's just woefully inconsistent. It's hard to keep track of this uh, whole model here. And finally, when it comes to the digital version of Cold War on next gen, the only option is what's called the cross gen bundle, which is basically $70 and uh, you get both the next gen version and the current gen version. This is the easiest version to understand and it is the version of the game that Activision actually wants to sell. They want to go as digital as possible and uh, they want to normalize $70 for their games moving forward and so this $70 package is the least complicated, it's the most straightforward one. Whereas with current gen physical and digital editions and next gen physical editions, they all have caveats depending on which version, which console you purchase for and it's inconsistent across the board. The worst version you can purchase on current gen is the Xbox One version because it cannot be upgraded to Xbox Series X you pay $60 and you're stuck with that and then on next gen the worst version to purchase would be the PlayStation 5 physical standard edition because it only includes the PS5 version uh, it does not include PS4 compatibility in any way shape or form so for these options that don't come with both current gen and next gen versions of Cold War what it means is that people who want to maybe hold off on purchasing a next-gen console until they're more financially stable and play a cross-gen game like Cold War on current-gen consoles until then won't be able to transition into next-gen with that game when they're finally ready to make that next-gen leap. And there are plenty of people who will not be purchasing a next-gen console at launch but want to play Cold War and eventually take that game over to a next-gen console when they're eventually able to afford it. Uh, but uh, if they get certain packages of Cold War then that option will be closed off to them. So what you want to do if you want to get both current gen and next gen versions of the game is to either purchase digitally on current gen and then upgrade to next gen for a fee, purchase the PlayStation 4 version of physical current gen and then upgrade that to PlayStation 5 while avoiding the physical Xbox One version because that cannot be upgraded to Series X you can also get the Series X Standard Edition Physical on Next Gen, which works on both Series X and Xbox One, but avoid the PlayStation 5 version of Physical Next Gen because that only works on PlayStation 5. Or you get the cross-gen digital bundle that includes both. Basically, for digital editions, if you pay $70, you'll get both current gen and next gen versions. For physical, though, there are certain things you have to navigate around if you don't want to miss out on both versions. Now, it is my belief that Activision is among the companies that does not justify raising their base prices given how heavily monetized their games are. On some level, I understand this idea of you know, having to adjust for inflation and $60 games becoming $70, but only for certain types of games. Like if Cyberpunk 2077 on next gen were sold for $70, that I would understand because it's a just a purely single player experience, tons of content, no monetization whatsoever. That I kind of get, but even then CD Projekt Red is not charging more money. They are allowing free upgrades and just charging $60 across the board. It's crazy. Whereas Activision, even though they monetize their games to hell and back, they more than make back the cost of production for titles like Black Ops Cold War through microtransactions. Even with all that, even though they're making more than enough money, they want to charge more and just make more money for the sake of making money rather than because it's actually a necessity to raise prices. And then last but not least, we have the Digital Ultimate Edition, which is $100. It includes the cross-gen bundle and a few extra goodies. This is way more complicated than it needs to be. Activision doesn't have to go this route. I frankly don't know what is up with the inconsistencies, but it is causing confusion. Uh, Twitter user Wario64 said that this is starting to get confusing. Uh, Cold War 
PS4 physical can get upgraded to PS5 version, but Xbox One physical will not have upgrade to Xbox Series X. And for further confusion, PS5 physical of、uh, Cold War cannot be played on PS4, while Xbox Series X version can be played on both Xbox One and Series X. But it's unclear if this is the Xbox Series X enhanced version or just reposting the current gen version as playable on both consoles. So it's just kind of hard to wrap your head around all of this. And then another prominent Twitter user, Shinobi602, also expressed confusion and assumed that it looks like there's no actual separate PS5 or Series X version. It's seventy dollars to play it on next gen systems. And if you actually go to the official Call of Duty page and browse through these、uh, different Edition, so PlayStation, Xbox, and PC.、Uh, right here we have PlayStation, and it gives you the different packages and with the chart and what it offers. And you can see that if you click on the standard edition, you're taken to the PlayStation Store, and this is the PS4 standard edition. But there is no digital PS5 edition by its own, and that's because digital next gen only is sold through this cross gen bundle that's seventy dollars. And、uh, here's the ultimate edition for ninety、uh, dollars, actually.、Uh, and then here we have Xbox.、Uh, if you select these,、uh, you'll also see something similar, where the Xbox One version is sixty dollars, and then there is the cross-gen bundle that's seventy dollars, and the ultimate edition that's ninety、uh, dollars. And so, if you look through those websites, it almost looks like there is no actual standard edition for next gen. But there actually is. We are talking about the physical standard edition, and the prices for that are listed here by IGN. The PS5 physical version of Cold War for seventy dollars, and the Xbox Series X version is also seventy dollars. But again, for physical next gen, there are caveats in that the PS5 version cannot. Be played on PS4, whereas the Xbox Series X physical version can be played on Xbox One. For some reason, this is all just unnecessarily complicated and confusing. It is incredibly greedy of Activision to ask for more for next-gen versions,、uh, given that all we're really missing is a patch. To enable the game to be played, taking advantage of next-gen hardware on PC, I don't have to pay extra money to increase my graphic settings. That's really what this is—a graphic settings increase that they're charging an extra ten dollars for. If CD Projekt can afford to sell a game as expansive and as unmonetized as Cyberpunk 2077 for sixty dollars across the board and offer free upgrades and still. Remain profitable and successful. Trust me, Activision can do it too. But with companies like Activision, it isn't about being successful. It isn't about making enough money. It's about making all the money in the world, just because. So yeah, just all around a pretty terrible next-gen upgrade model and strategy. Confusing, complicated, and unnecessary in how they're essentially charging for. Graphic settings. So that's my take on how Activision is handling Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War's numerous editions and all of the different caveats that come with all of them. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on all of this. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.